Well, as you saw earlier, I got both my boxes made. So to assemble it, it's really pretty easy. All you really have to do is hang this off of one board and we're aiming for right at two inches. It might be pretty close to there just by eye oh, first try. Yeah, got to twist it that way just a little. That's two. That's two and a sixteenth. I think we might have it right there. That's two, two, yeah, well. Of course, things aren't exactly square. You know what? Something, I don't know if it's, this isn't square, but let's we'll put the difference like that. We're going to call that close enough. I'll put a couple screws here, and then I'll put the other pieces on, and that'll make the form. And then it's just flipped over and pour it. So I'm not going to kill a lot of your time with it. I just thought you might want to see there how I actually suspended it. Now well, I'm just getting ready to put this one on and uh, I'll show you what I did real quick. I measured out here to the center line of that board, five inches. Made a mark of five inches. And I'm going to draw a line on it just because I know for a fact that I'll miss more times than I'll get it if I don't have a line to go by. So that's how I'm going to do it before I put the piece on. And this here I should be able to go, you know, right off that other one. So we'll hope that other one's in the middle of the board. And we'll see how we do. Well, that one went in good. That one went in good. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to put a mark on them. That way you don't miss a whole bunch of times. That pulled right down good. So anyway, I'm going to shut you off again. I actually didn't like the way that one tipped when it went in, but... The only way to see if you missed it is tip it over. No, it went in. That's good. So, I'm going to uh, shut you off. I'm going to put that other board on, take it outside, get it set up out there where I got some water, get the concrete mixer out, and uh, I'll bring it back when we're ready to mix some cement. Now, finally, there's nobody here. I'm gonna walk you over. I poured the concrete already. Oh, the cement, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was one of them things, we was gonna take two mixes and I didn't wanna have a cold scene. And there was people here. So I just kept the camera away because I didn't wanna have to deal with making sure nobody got in the film, you know. But uh, I'll show you what we ended up with over here. It, uh, I think it come out good. Carol's been doing a little bit of landscaping. I helped to do some of that. I think the stuff's almost set. It's not set enough to take the forms off, but it's, it's finally so you can put your hand on it anyway. But So this right here is what we ended up with. It settled a little bit because it's quite a ways down through it. But that's all. You know, it's, I mean, you can move it, but it's, it's getting there. There's uh, six shovelfuls of cement and 13 shovelfuls. Yeah. 
and about 16 shovel falls are. It's about one to three. But anyway, while we're at it, I'm gonna show you these greenhouses. It's the 29th today. Last time you saw them, they was pretty darn full. And as you can see, there's a lot of empty space in these greenhouses. And uh, it's hot today. Well, that's what it is in the greenhouse right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's probably 95 outside. It's pretty hot. Even though the clouds are around, it's still just a hot day. But we'll show you that number two house. Show you what mother's been up to. She's been landscaping. We had a bunch of hostas there she transplanted. When them fill in, that's going to look nice down through there. Still need to put about another two inches of gravel inside of here. But it'll be nice here in a couple weeks when that all gets stood back up. It's a pretty hot day to be transplanting, so that kind of laid a little low right now, but um, you know, they'll come back to it. But anyway, I got to show you a, an odd thing that happened. We ordered a bunch of lilies, get the bulbs in, planted them. We got these lilies that they were like almost a blood red. The names of, name of them is mascara. And that is a mismarked batch of lilies. So they sent us a dozen of those mascaras and every one of them is orange. We've only had one person bring it back and come really, well, she didn't complain, but she didn't want any more orange around the house. So anyway, this is what number two looks like after a real good week. There's not much left in here. As you can see, she's getting pretty empty. We don't have many peppers, just those few right there. And uh, a few of the Cubanelles or Rubas, whatever you want to call them. And these are our hot peppers. We do have some hot peppers left. But, you know, hot pep, we're not down in Mass. Down in Mass, you'd have every one of them sold by now. But up here in Maine, people from Maine, most of them don't do hot peppers. So, yeah, pretty empty greenhouse. Carol's in here rejuvenating the ones that are stressed from the heat. So yeah, we got about uh, maybe 15 patio tomatoes out of 350. That's pretty good. Pretty good deal. And we got plenty of tomatoes for people if they want them. But yeah, it's been a pretty good, pretty good last week. You know, even the stuff out here, we're almost out of lettuces. We're all out of broccoli, a lot of the cold stuff we're out of. But yeah, it's been a good day. So anyway, I'll uh, bring you back probably in the morning when we try to disassemble this beast. I gotta bring it over to the shop with a tractor and I'll invert it, because this is the bottom. Pull the top off and then we'll try to withdraw the centerpiece. And if we're lucky, it'll all hold together. The, uh, yeah, it's pretty well. I think another two or three hours, she'll be really tightening up. Anyway, I'm gonna put the camera away. We got another customer coming, so. Glad you uh, stopped in and watched the video. And, uh, you know, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, anything you'd like. We uh, supposed to come into a cold front. We've had two, three days here. One more day, I guess if we had one more day, it'd be anyway. We've had 90 some two days in a row. But tomorrow, I think it's supposed to cool off into 70s. And then we're supposed to get down into 60s. And then we're supposed to get down one night next week where they're talking maybe getting close to a frost. We'll wait and see. 
We've, uh, by then the peppers will have been planted and too long and so won't the tomatoes to pull them. So, um, we had this happen once about 20 years ago and we put an insulin blower, which we still got, set her up, fired her up two in the morning with a John Deere flat belt running onto it. And it works. All you got to do is stir the air and the stuff won't settle to the ground and frost. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Well, everybody, been 20 hours since we poured this. So we are going to see together what my form did to this. Hopefully it was a success. I did break that when I tipped that over. I might have a failure here. I got a lot of cement in it too. About a third cement. That's definitely a crack. Huh. Well, we'll wait and see here what it looks like. Keep on going. I think it's going to be all right. It is a, I'd say it's a uh, crack for cooling. Or get too hot maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how she looks here. Yeah. This side solid. I think we're going to be fine. That crack only goes down about four inches that you can see. So. If I build another one, I ought to get some three-quarter gravel and put into it. Yeah, I'm going to go get me a little tonka and we'll see what happens. official 
show any signs of just picking out. Probably going to have to take it and take it apart. Yeah. I was hoping that's all right. If it was metal, it probably would come out. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, that worked well, that thought process. Oop, wrong way. Put your hand up from behind that, be better. Well, I had to sawzall my first piece out. This stuff is swelled up because it was so dry in the van. And I'm pretty sure that's what's caused this crack over here. So, anyway, it's going to be usable. Um, it's definitely going to be usable. The bottom's three inches thick, so it should hold it together. It's just a, a crack that goes down. Well, it goes down quite a ways, but anyway, I'm going to still call it a success, although it's not a perfect one. So the only thing we got left to do is get this piece off. And I don't think this one's got a screw in it, so I'm hoping it'll pop right off. But you can see how tight that is. That is so tight. unbelievably tight um, yeah I still got a cleat on the bottom of that but I don't think I can get it out no, I might be able to just rip it off yeah not quite I guess drywall screw the top. Yeah, it came out. It's all in pieces, but it came out. No cracks on this side, so that's good. I guess if I ever do this again, I'll make the inside out of steel. Yeah, we're starting to gain anyway. Now, this here has still got one screw in it, this one. Look at that. Won't help it much. Now, the only thing I got left is that friggin' piece of wood in the bottom. That might not have been a good idea, you never know. Huh. I guess I'm gonna have to go get me a chisel. Well, everybody, I gotta get the vacuum out. The vacuum out, what little bit of stuff's down there, but came out as I wanted it to. I do have this stress crack that goes all the way down to there, which this is where the big base is. And I'm 99% sure that that stress crack right there is from the wood expanding. That wood was expanded so friggin' tight. Unbelievable. So, yeah, that was an, an education here. If you build a form like that, leave an eighth inch gap and cover it with some Gorilla Tape or something so that it's got a place to expand. I never even would have thought of that. You know, I'm not used to working with concrete, but I learned something. Um, anyway, it's not a big deal. It's still serviceable. Um, you know, the main purpose of this is 
not necessarily to protect the urn, it's just to make it so that once we put it in the ground, the grave don't settle and all that. Kind of both, but um, yeah, it's 100% serviceable. All I gotta do now is make a lid for it. And yeah, that's pretty simple. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. It was a success as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's still something I can pick up and put into pieces, you know. Could have been worse. So anyway, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you build one for yourself, leave some expansion gaps unless you do it out of steel um, okay don't forget to hit the like button if you like it don't hesitate to subscribe we'll talk to you later well everybody i threw this form together this is going to be for the top it's got a little extra cement probably than what it needs but you and i both know that everybody drives on cemetery graves nowadays with equipment so we're gonna have a four inch lid here in the middle, three inch on the outside. Um, it should hold up normal traffic, I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're gonna make it out of. And uh, yeah, like I say, this here come out good. So I actually put the urine in, I got about three quarters of an inch, half three quarters all the way around it. So we did our calculations right, which makes me real happy. It'd be a bitch if it didn't fit. I guess if it didn't fit, I'd make a smaller urn. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, so that's the end of it. I'm not going to show you the pouring. Um, yeah, it's one of those things, pretty mundane stuff. Um, and there's people over there, because I'm going to do it over by the greenhouse where I got water. Um, anyway, you know, hope you enjoyed. And we'll be talking to you, to you later. Yeah, well, everybody, it's late at night, but I just took the wood off this and that's the cover you know it's got a few crumbs on it that's the cover for that little vault came out all right so anyway it is gonna be okay we got everything all done i uh, hope you enjoyed talk to you later